Welcome back to Sunday League Football Cup Final Edition, or should I say the best in Essex Cup Final Edition. Yes, right, we're here, a great way, Crim Rovers Football Club, to see who's going to get that title, because as I said before, there's not a bigger trophy that you can get. Last season saw us get to the Essex Junior Cup Final, and that is a competition that sees all of the Division 1, 2, 3, 4 sides all around Essex come together and battle it out. So yeah, to get to that final was a huge achievement for us, but unfortunately on the day, it didn't turn out well for us, did it? We come up against a side in Marquee who boasted semi-professional footballers throughout, and not forgetting the odd few that may have done in the Championship League 1 and League 2. Skip one year and we've upped the stakes. We're in the Essex Premier Cup final now. This is all the top, top teams in Essex coming together again to battle it out. We're here today against a team called Amara. who have been set up for one season only to win as much as possible, including this trophy. This is the big one. And to be fair to them, they're here and they've just won their league title as well. And just like last season, we're considered underdogs purely because of the players that this squad boast. Winning titles in the Bostick League, picking up wages every week. There may or may not be an ex-professional in there. If you happen to just like the YouTube football scene, you may recognise a hashtag player too. Anyway, we're not here to use this as an excuse. We're here to relish the challenge. We can't wait to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this lot. But before we do, let's see how we got here. We're going to cast our minds back to September as we entered round one. We faced up to a side called Wheatley's. They're based in Southend. And within five minutes, we were one up as Bill Tech set up Josh here, who stuck it past the keeper. That's just what you want. But it got even better. One minute later, Josh returning the favour as he played the ball up the line to Bill Tex. Bill. Hold up. The keeper's well off the line here. What's Bill going to do? Oh, oh, that's the goal all day long. Oh. Yeah! Just after 10 minutes, Bill Text involved again as he sets up German. Und ich mache das Beste und die Spatlisurnen. Aber im Moment, ich ne Google Translate, was mir gesagt wird, ist nicht genau. That's an own goal. But we didn't relax, we kept going, got a reward from a corner. Oh, oh. yes! But following that, on his debut, new signing Nick saw red for an incident off the ball. And then the second half came, and yeah, it was squeaky bum time. He goes into the box, and it rises high, and he's put it into his own net there. Garen stands still. He's done well to get round the back of the defenders here as he gets this under control, puts it towards the back post. But sometimes when you throw everything at a game, you can't get beaten on the break. He puts it through to Lewis, who's in a lot of space out there, just the 17 to take on. Little step over, puts it on the right. No. Yes! you think the game would be done there, wouldn't you? Got another free kick to deal with here. 16 into the box. It's another 10 that's got the wrong side of Lee. It bounces back out to the number nine. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck the number nine that brings it forward, plays it past Elliot into the number seven. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this guy's thinking. He is not in a good place right now. Luckily for new signing Nick, though, we did hold out and we went into round two. Yeah. Yeah. Round two, we invited Whitham down to the college for a lesson. It was another good start to the game. Garen out on field this time, putting a looping ball over the top. Missed by the number two over there. Nodded on by Acer, and he was on the end of it. Under control, pokes it past the keeper. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Two minutes later, we doubled our lead. Bill Tex, good work out there, putting the ball into the box for Acer with the head. You just got better and better, didn't it? And on the end of it is Elliot. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Elliot. Following that, it was a penalty in the 26th. Oh, I get. The thing about this team is they weren't a bad team. It was a fairly even game. We took our chances. They didn't, although they did take this one. Falls to the eight. <laughs> Second, I saw the scoreline stay the same for the majority until the 85th when Bill got dizzy, turned his man inside out. That's five. Yes! Well, about a couple of minutes later, that was eight. A late, late penalty saw him get another consolation, but in the end, we proved too much on the day into round three. And that saw us face up to Holbridge Sports, probably one of the best sides in South End. And they backed that up after starting well and grabbing the lead after 13 minutes. It went from bad to worse as well as we went 2 0 down inside 20 minutes. Yes! It's strange, going 2 0 down somehow woke us up. Again, it's cleared only as far as the edge of the box for Nosey. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Following that, we squared things up with a ball over the top from Lee into Bill here. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. 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 Get him, Bill! Into the second half, the comeback was complete. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Just got the arm mark, they brought on number 18 in a slightly different kit. Fell uh, asleep. And that's how it ended after 90. One minute into extra time. Why didn't we do this in the 90? Yes! Yes! Then in the second half of extra time, the game is pretty much put to bed. Yes! 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 Come on! But of course, we weren't done there, was we? Yes! Then the final whistle did go into the quarterfinals of the Essex Premier Cup. And that was where we took a team of 13 all the way to Clacton. A struggling team, might I add. Carrying injuries all over as we face after this lot. Vikings flag, a team that got good connections with semi-pro outfit Holland FC. But despite that, things started well. Yes! Then things got even better. The ball floats in here, Nick gets his head on it, and it is two. 
But we are under no illusion that this team could play. Oh, great touch to get beyond Josh there. He opens up, puts it into the box on the outside of his foot. There's the nine. Come on. And in the second half, they certainly ramped up the pressure. Well, half clearance. New signing Nixon to make sure. Come on, seconds. No, we took an absolute battering. But extra time came, and the boys literally had nothing in the tank. Nothing at all. Our opponents had some great chances, not that we could see much. But after they threw the kitchen sink in, we got ourselves a little break. We've got Brad ahead of him. Lewis up top, and he's going to opt for Lewis here, who looks to be in on goal here. He's been dragged back by the number six. Keepers missed it. The play carries on as Lewis gets there before the number six. And that was enough to see us through to the semi-final with this competition. Next up, we visited the Fortress, home of Braintree Iron. And we were told no one comes to the Fortress and wins. So after 33 minutes from the spot, Blossy got his first goal for the club. Into the second half, we doubled our leaders. Henners gave the ball to Bill and made his way into the box. Got the shot in. Keep a spill. Lewis said thank you. Go ahead. Yeah! <laughs> in very poor conditions, they did manage to get one back from the spot. But the game was put to bed in the 64th as Lewis converted this free kick. Yeah! 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 And now, my friends, is how we got here. Keep one, keep one, keep one. So our boys 4-2 day, having a little warm up. Tommy's in Italy at the moment, gutted. Um, Garen we're missing as well. well. Originally this was for the 5th of May, but our opponents uh, had a wedding or something, so they changed the date and uh, here we are. So I don't know if that's a sign, we put this down our end. And that is a sign, that is actually a sign. It's a sign, it says champions. But we'll see, we'll see. Here we go, 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 here we go. Talk to me about you two, why you're not warming up, what's happened? Injured, oh, injured. Season, really. You got injured in the final, didn't you? The last final. You alright? I actually see what happened. The keeper trod on you, didn't he? Yeah. I saw that. Oh! oh. 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 So, he was a big man. He was a big man. <laughs> Nuzzy, what's yours? You have a chest infection? Yeah, I was meant to play 90 on the cup final. Mm. But you got a goal. Yeah, yeah. Winner, winner. <laughs> Go on. Go on, hit it. Ever been in a Premier Cup final before? No. Can we do it? Ooh. We can. We've just got out here. We're going back in. We're going back in. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Charlie, show me your shin pads. Yep, that's my cue. Starting team. In between the sticks, we've got a jack. We're going back four today. Shane left back. New signing Nick right back. Elliot and Foxy in the middle. And it's a five in the midfield, starting with three in the centre. It's Brad. Brad as Webby. Let me know what name you prefer, because I keep changing. Then there's a big Josh and a Blossy. Then two wingers in the form of Josh and Henners. And the main man up top is Bill. So that's the 11. Five on the bench, though. Very attacking. Not many defenders available today. We've got Acer, Nick, German, Lewis, and Charlie. So this is it, lads. Last season's cup final was the biggest game in the club's history. This season, we've gone one better. We've upped the stakes. It's the Essex Premier Cup final. It's against Imara, and it's live, which is what Martin Tyler says at most games that he commentates on. Unfortunately, you couldn't get him down for this one, so you got my annoying voice. This definitely isn't live either. Although, if you're watching this on the day of release, this happened yesterday. So, next day upload, drop a like for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when new games are uploaded to the channel. And that's it. Nothing else to say. Let's do this. <laughs> So yeah, kind of touched on it, but didn't really go into it. Let's talk about the obvious. We're in a white kit today. Obvious reasons our opponent's playing orange. We could have wore the blue, but Kitlocker pulled this one out of the bag, especially for this cup final. And I'm telling you, they're ahead of the game when it comes to grassroots football kits. They're actually tweaking and testing new ways of producing kits, allowing teams to get a little bit more customization. Our particular kit inspired by PSG, and because we couldn't wear orange, we wanted to sneak it in somehow. So we've got the black and orange stripe down the middle. We've got a nice silicon badge. Names and numbers on the back as well. They're looking smart. Big question is, are Kitlocker going to retail this? Right now, no. That's purely because of 
is the workflow involved. But once they crack it, who knows? Later on down the line, we'll see grassroots teams up and down the country rocking some decent kits. Not just your standard templates that you're forced to wear. But do make sure you follow us on the socials, Kit Locker also, because we will be doing a giveaway or two. How's that going to work? You'll have to follow us and see. All the relevant links are in the description below. So we start off looking very confident in this one. We've got a free kick. Blossy sends that forward. Josh gets a foot to it, but that's going to go out for a goal kick. Not long after, Josh over that far side skips beyond his first man. Then the second man gives it to Blossy on the edge. He's going to get the shot in. Uh, okay. Yeah, good block from the Amara captain there. Still very early on, but we continue to press here as the number 20 picks it up from the throw. Bill takes it off of him there. Being chased down. Little back heel into the path of Brad, who takes one touch. Hits that. Brad goes over the bar. We've got the Amara keeper now sending this one up the field. It's up towards the big man, the number nine, but Elliot gets the better of him there. As it falls down to Brad as he sticks that one straight over the top. Bill's beating the offside trap here. Great first touch as well as he breaks into the box. No attacks! Very unlucky there. I'm telling you, great start from the boys. Confident. I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before we start seeing some good stuff from our opponents. Yes, wait, wait. He won the f***ing ball. That'll be a free kick. Ref just calming things down here. Doesn't want it to boil over too early. Or even at all if he can help it. Zamara's number eight now. Putting it towards the edge of the box here for the 20. The Red Boots. He's recently been celebrating title success with Bowers and Pitsy in the Bostick League. He can definitely play too. So we need to be wary of him. In fact, we need to be wary of everyone out there today. He plays it back to the number seven. He floats that in. Elliot with the diving header clear. It's out to Blossy. Puts it up to Bill. First time. And now we find ourselves on the counter. At the moment, it's two on one. Now he's three on two. Bill playing it forward to Blossy. Henners is ahead of him. As he looks up. He plays it to Bill. But it's good defended by the four here. Gets that clear. In fact, it hits Bill. Goes out for the goal kick. Ideal for them. He's number 17 in the middle of the park. Skipping past Big Josh there. He looks up. Plays a lovely ball on the outside of his foot to the number 20 there. As he strikes it with the left. That goes across the six yard box. Don't know if it was a shot or a cross. It was probably a shot. But who knows? These boys know what they're doing. He's worked out more as a cross and it goes back in from the number eight. Touchdown by the number 20. Looks to go be on new signing Nick. He's done that. Then looks to cut it back. Does that as well, but there's no one there and that's cleared by Henry. Here they come again now though. Number six this time. Looking to play it through, but it's blocked by Brad. Then plays that forward up to Blossy who eventually gets that under control on the halfway line. The big man number nine is bearing down on him as he looks for the run of Bill. Gives it. Number four, however, looks to have this covered. No, he doesn't. Bill's in the box now. He's got the number two on him. Goes beyond him. Gets the shot in. Oh, Bill! Oh! Another chance on goal and another wave of attack for them to deal with here. Brad eventually gets that under after the challenge from the 16. Looks to play in Josh on the overlap, but he's come off the defender. They're panicking. He's got it again here with Brad, who puts it across to Blossy. Two on him. He gives it to Henners. Henners goes through the middle. Challenge comes in there from the seven. Blossy picks it up. We're just trying to find a bit of space here to get a shot in, and Blossy's found that here. More of a dink, though. In the end, it's an easy one for the keeper. Here come Amara now. Back in possession. Number six chesting that one down. Looking out wide for the number seven. He takes a touch. Shane on his case there, not letting him hit that line, so he's come back inside. This is seven that puts it up to the edge now. Number 20 getting that under. He then looks up and threads the ball through the gap there for the number seven. He gets the shot in. That goes well wide. Good little period for Amara here. They've been knocking the ball about, but we've been getting it back. Yeah, that's more like it. We're going possession back. It's Blossy on the ball now. He then spots Bill in a bit of space. Who's again beating the offside trap. If he can keep this in, which it looks like he's gonna, he's got plenty of space and time to do something. But there's no one in the box. No one at all. So it looks like he's gonna go it alone. <laughs> oh! We've got ourselves a corner here. Into the box it goes. Up towards the back post. Elliot's there, but keep out a part to play there, and Amara can get that way. Back up the other end now. It's number seven in possession. Coming out wide here for the number eight. It's a first time ball. Up to the 20. He's the one that's looking the most lively for our opponents at the moment. It's Foxy that's going to look to get it back off of him. Blocks the cross. That's out for the corner. So here's number eight sending this one into the box. There's Jack. Great punch away there. I think he took a whack for his troubles. It's still on for our opponents as number six puts it across to the 20. Allowed to get it down. Hits it. <laughs> We've got to be careful. They do look dangerous. Anyway, thrown from them now. Up to the number nine. It's flicked onto the eight. Eight then puts it over the top for the number 20. Battling with new signing Nick here. He's managed to come away with it with the ball on the deck there. He's got the overlap from the number 17. Use him as well. But there's Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dangerous free kick on the edge of the box for our opponents here. Oh, back pounds! Oh, my God. Oh. No troubles there for Jack. His hen is now dinking this one forward to Bill on the halfway line. Blossy's on the overlap. Uses him as well. Number four's going to look to chase this one too. As Blossy eventually gets to it. A change of pace. That's another free kick. That's Blossy who won the free kick. Blossy to take the free kick. Up towards the back post. Dealt with well by the number six there. Is Amara back in control now. Number nine into the 20. Lovely first time looping ball over the top. Number eight's control. Sees him into the box. There's number 20 busted the gut to get in there. A good move, but eventually we clear our lines. So we've got Joshy over that far side now, cutting inside of his man. We've got a couple of minutes added on in this first half. He's up to Brad. Brad then to Blossy. Blossy's got Henners on the overlap. Good little move from the boys in white today. Bill's ahead of him. Joshy's ahead of him. He's going to offer Bill as well on the edge of the box. Looks to spin his man. Plays it through his legs in the end. That is cleared by Amara, and that is going to bring the first half to an end. Yeah, Shane. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> 
So this is a bit of a contrast from last season. We're walking into this changing room with a lot of confidence, believe me. This is a very, very tough outfit, and we're matching them right now. Why can't we go on and beat them? We've had the chances. Let's see what the second half brings. But again, big shout out to our sponsors, Kit Locker, for supplying a kit for today. If you're a grassroots team and you're looking for a kit, believe me, these are the guys to speak to. If you want to support the club, grab some merch. You can get it from palmersfc.co.uk. Okay, a couple of substitutions before the second half begins. We've got Henners off and Josh off. They're being replaced by Lewis and Nick. All right, 45 minutes to go. Put in another good half. Okay, so we're going to start this half with new signing Nick as he puts the ball out to Lewis. He's getting involved straight away. Nice. Nick's continued his run here as he gets his body in front of the seven. Looks to have gone down a little bit easy in my opinion there, but as Nick gets the crossing, it's headed away. Picked up on the edge by the Amara captain. Nick wants it back. Oh, shit. It's got to be said, it's not often new signing Nick can say he's got more hair than someone else. But today he's a winner. A real winner. The number two got involved for some reason. Didn't need to. The ref's just going to defuse this situation. We can get on with the game. One minute later, it's a throw from Imara. Up to the 20. New signing Nick clears. That's down to Brad, who makes sure. Now Nick's going to try and get onto it. Number two gets there first with the header. Cleared again by Lewis. Lovely. Oh, Probably a little bit confused as to what's gone on here. Nick's actually got a hole in his head. The camera didn't pick it up, but everyone else did, including the ref. It was a headbutt from the number two, off for the ball. Namara now down to 10 men. We'll have a little look back as Nick went for the ball here. So he wins the header, but follows through with a punch there. Didn't see that first time round, to be fair. And following the punch, he's headbutted Nick to the floor. And just like that, that's his cut final over. I'm actually more gutted for Nick. This is something that we worked towards for years. And unfortunately for him, that's his game over. But the good thing is he's still smiling. He eventually went off to get some stitches done, but he won't be adding to his goals tally today. So that's a straight swap. Nick's off. Acer is now on the field. Now we crack him in the game. The free kick is taken. Into the box it goes but that's dealt with by the big man who came onto the field following the sending off. As we carry on it's Elliot up to Lewis here. He then sends it back. Brad's going to get onto this. He beats the number 7 to it. Rides the first challenge. Makes his way forward. Rides the second challenge. Threads it into Lewis here. He's in on goal but a flag has gone up as he puts the cross in. Even if he'd have shot it wouldn't have counted. But good positive play from the boys. Not long after that it's Shane with a pass down to Blossip. That's cut out by the 17. Oh, oh Shane! Now we're giving our opponents an opportunity to get the ball into the boxes. Number 8. Up towards the back post. Big man's on the field don't forget. There's new signing Nick to get that clear. Shane's going to pick it up on the edge of the box, bring it out to this near side and play it up the line. There's Acer. It looks like 11's misjudged this one. Acer's going to take full advantage as he plays it up the line to Bill. Number four is going to try and show him the line. He's got Lewis in support. Ace is making a break into the box, but that's cut out by the 11 there and cleared, but only to the edge for Lewis. He needs to be getting some shots in, testing this keeper, but in the end, Lewis loses out on the edge of the box to the captain. Now it's our opponents to have a go. It's end-to-end -end stuff at the moment. And it's this ball that's looking for the 20. Elliot gets his head to it, but can't get it clear. He's on for the 20, but Jack's off his line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Sweep the keeper. He's not had much to do. What he has had to do, he's dealt with well. And they always say it's harder to play against 10, and that's proving the case at the moment. Amara looking very dangerous. The 17 puts it out to 8 on that far side. He looks to swing one in. Goes beyond Shane, then swings it in. <laughs> Amara are the first to put the ball in the net, but it is offside. Those cheers quickly put to bed. It's a warning sign nonetheless. New signing Nick now. Up to Bill Tex on the edge. Tussling with the big man, 27. He manages to get the ball out to Lewis. Can he get the crossing? Looks like he's going to be out to. But the bigger question is, can we get someone's nut on it? it? Isn't to be, but there is Blossy at the back post. He gets it under control. As he tees this one up, hits it with the left. Bill Tex going in at the back post there, but the keeper blocks. And Amara can clear. Into the 65th minute now, and our midfield look very, very tired. You can see it here. Number 20 running straight through the middle of them. In the end, he sticks it out to the far side for the number eight here. He gets it under control and he's able to put this ball across here. And that's intended for the number seven. But new signing Nick's got other ideas. Wins that one. And all he needs to do is clear the danger now. He's done well. The seven's got other ideas. <laughs> I think we can all guess that's a £10 to SXFA. We've had a lot of action. It's been end-to-end. -end. Not as many chances in this second half, to be fair. And we're going to try and carve one out here. It's Bill Tex on the edge of the box. He's got Lewis running in. And I don't think Lewis will mind me saying that he's probably a little bit drunk still. He actually stayed in South End the night before so he could get in nice and early. Hold you that in pan out and I think he might be feeling the effects of the drink. And so from that, it's a goal kick sent up the field. Just over Racer's head there. Nice little flick from the 7. 17 picks it up and puts it over the top for the number 8. He seems to have switched sides. Going to get the shot in from this angle. Oh. Oh. Time is ticking in this one, and you've got to think maybe one goal will win it. We have Shane over there who's looking for Bill, but he was cut out by the number six. He's played forward up to the 20. Foxy wins it back, although I think he's hurt himself on the way through there. Either way, we come away with the ball with Bradders on the halfway line. He's got Blossy to the left. He's got Lewis to the right. He's got Bill ahead of him. He chooses Bill as well. As he bursts into the box, we've got a three on two situation here. He tells number 27 to sit down, please. Draws the number 11 in. Gives it to Lewis, who's free. Yes! Oh. Yes! I 
have doubted us. Everyone did. And I think deep down, even some of us may have doubted ourselves. But today, we've had our head on the game and we've got our reward here. And I'll stand by the fact that Lewis is still probably a little bit drunk. Either side of the keeper and it goes in. He smashed it down the middle. Luckily, he's gone through his legs. And we find ourselves 1 0 up in the Essex Premier Cup. Who'd have thought it? Even Nick, who was getting cleaned up, has managed to get back out to celebrate. Jumps over the fence and joins the boys. I'm sure we'll look back on this many times in the future, but it won't mean nothing unless we go on and win this. It's Amara Nil, Palmer's FC 1. I'll bring you a kickoff from our opponents. Now, the remainder of this game is about being smart, staying focused, not doing anything stupid, and keeping it simple. And despite being down to 10 men, we fully expect an onslaught. The defence have been great today. I'll tell you what, I've got everything crossed, hoping that that can continue. And to be fair, it continues here with Shane, who does well to get that off of the 15. He plays it forward to Blossy. Blossy then looks up, spots the run of Bill. He's beating the offside trap again. He's missed all the other one on ones. What about this one? Tell you what, people, we're in dreamland right now. We got one. And then from kickoff, we go and win it back. We play the ball forward. Bill beats the offside trap once again. And their lot were giving him a lot of stick. Three, four, five chances he's had. What they don't know is he needs six, seven, or eight to get a goal. All the others were along the floor. The keeper's fully expecting that. This time he's dinked him. And then it flew to an empty net. And after going one nil up, one minute and thirty later, we're two nil up in this Essex Premier Cup tie. Calvin your Palmers. They have it. Bill's coming off now. He's got his goal. German's coming up the shot up the midfield. And just like that, we've got a kickoff. And now we bring out the defensive part of this game to take the sting out of it. Well, 11's done well to get beyond Brad there. And German is running into trouble here with Elliot, who gets the ball. Still on, though. He goes down very easy in the box. New signing Nick's there to clear our lines. Not long after, we're at it again. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, German! And again, we're making it scrappy. No foul, good! So it's not been working on the deck for them. They're going to go over the top. Number six, up towards the 20. Elliot cuts that out. Seconds. Can I order a big Josh, please? Nick that from number eight there. But number seven is going to get to this ball before him. Can I order another big Josh, please? Keep working, Josh. Yes, I love it. Can love that. Can love it. Whilst all these tackles are flying in, it's probably best that we bring Brad off. He's on a yellow already. We don't want the ref even it up. Charlie's on the field. Ten minutes past stoppage time in this one. And Charlie's first action is to get clotheslined. Yes, yes Chaz. If the rest missed that one, or he's just waving play on. Well, he's not waving at all, but 15's not happy with it. In a way, he's the one that ran into Charlie anyway. It's a ball over the top from German. 27 gets there ahead of Blossy. That's out for a throw on the far side. 27 in possession here as he plays it up towards the edge, but Big Josh is going to get there first. Number five, silly challenge from the eye, brings Josh down. That's going to be a free kick, and that'll suit us. And he's on the field now, and he's scrapping over there, along with Big Josh, who looks to play it forward to Acer. He's picked up by the number six, I believe. But Hennessy's is back on him straight away as he wins this challenge. As he gets up and plays it forward, it's a late one from then. We've got ourselves a free kick again. This will suit us. And so it's Lewis that stands over this one. Puts it into the box. On the end of it is a big Josh. It's on target. But easy for the keeper. So we basically told our opponents, sorry guys, you're not allowed in our half. It's off limits. Your name's not down. You're not coming in. What's that? You play semi-pro football? Yeah, no, sorry. This is Sunday League. Lewis, you're not allowed up here either. Keep the ball in there, half, and let this clock tick down. <laughs> Ed's gone. That's ten pounds to a six FA. Ninety-four minutes on the clock now. Hoof up the field. Let's see what we can get. Josh Niles is back on. He's got a bit of energy. He's got the better of the number four here. It's a three and two situation with Lewis in support. He's got Henners to the left as well. He spots Lewis. Go on, Lou. That's a ball. Good. Oh! Josh. Almost hit ninety-five on the clock now. Big Josh wins another header. I'm just thinking, Mr. Referee, how long's left, mate? <laughs> Who'd have thought it, eh? Palmer's FC, the best in Essex. I'm sure there might be other clubs out there that are probably better than us, probably got better players than us. I mean, take this lot here, for example. Quality side, and possibly man for man, they are better than us. It's something different about us this year. We play as a team, we work for each other. And despite everyone in our ear holes telling us that we'd be lucky to get anything out of this game, we turned up, and I think overall we wanted it more. Unlucky to Amara, it just wasn't their day. It was our day, and we will say it. We are the best in Essex, and you can't take that away from us. I'm honestly so, so proud of this squad. Jack in goal, did what he needed to do when called up on. Shane 
Ryan at the back kept their main man quiet. New signing Nick stuck his head on everything. Henners up and down. German came on, took the sting out of it. Josh Niles stretched him for days. Big Bill Tex, head does not drop at all. Always knows he's going to get a goal, and he did today. Well done, that man. Mr. Brad Webb wearing Lewis's top. One of the signings of the season. Absolute workhorse. Score on, Big Josh. Without him today, we'd have been struggling. There wasn't much he didn't win in the air. Welcome to Palmer's FC. Chaz V, same as German. Helped kill this game off. Well done, that man. Lewis, it was quite obvious that he was sobering up as the game went on. Without him, he wouldn't have been here. Talent. Ace scored in the last final. He won't mind not scoring today. Came on, cause problems. Got a winner's medal. Mr. Original, top goal scorer for Palmer's FC. Look at that. He deserves two medals. And you've got Blossy getting better and better every week. Hair looks good too. Mr. Brad Fox, a rock at the back today. He'd be very, very proud of his performance. Let's not forget about Luke. He was part of the squad that got us to this final, as was Rich. Let's not forget about Niles. He helped us lift the trophy midweek. Scored goals in the lead up to this final as well. Tomo, Gaffer, made the right decisions today, didn't they? What about this, man? They say nice guys finish last. Not today, boys. Let's not forget about the others in the squad that couldn't be there today. Obviously, Tommy, Garen, Lee. They played their part, but right about now, I think we're going to celebrate. Many things here. Massive thank you for all your support, and I've just heard Tommy Gray's on his way back from Rome. Pub anyone? Champione, champione, ole, ole, ole. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,